So let's bring in now Senator Kamala Harris from California. Senator Harris, thank you for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, we, we just saw Mary's piece right there. You saw what President Trump said yesterday. He's slamming Democrats, saying radical left Democrats yeah. are behind defunding the police. How do you respond to that? Yeah. Well, it's just it's creating fear where none is necessary. Listen, here's the thing. George, we all witnessed the tragic murder of George Floyd. The people protesting in the streets are protesting what has been a long-standing issue in America that needs to be addressed. And it can be done in a way that does not require us to create fear in, in people. The reality of it all is this. There needs to be accountability and consequence for anyone who breaks the law and breaks the rules. And so what we're talking about in our package of bills is doing just that. And, and separately, we really do have to get to a point where we agree that the status quo way of thinking about achieving safety is really wrong when it assumes that the best way to achieve more safety is to put more police on the streets. It's just wrong. You know how you create more safety? You fund public schools, and, and it wouldn't be the case that in America today, two-thirds of our public school teachers come out of their own pocket to help pay for school supplies. The way you create more safety is people have access to health care, and it's affordable. The way you create more safety is the jobs in the community and economic opportunities and access to capital. And you can look at any middle or upper middle class suburb in America. You don't see police presence there. But what you do see there are good schools. So, so does that People mean... People have jobs. They have incomes that help them get, get through the end of the month. So does that mean you support proposals like what we've seen in Los Angeles? Mayor Eric Garcetti saying, take some of the money from policing, about $150 million, invest it in health initiatives, training initiatives for youth. I support investing in communities so that they become more healthy and therefore more safe. The, in, right now, what we're seeing in America is many cities spend over one-third of their entire city budget on policing. But meanwhile, we've been defunding public schools for years in America. We've got to re-examine what we're doing with American taxpayer dollars and ask the question, are we getting the right return on our investment? Are we actually creating healthy and safe communities? And that's a legitimate conversation, and it requires a, a really critical evaluation. I applaud Eric Garcetti for doing what he's done. So does it mean, bottom line, we need fewer police on the streets of America right now? It means that we need to invest in communities, George. It means that we need to invest in educating our children when, if you look at it over a course of time, we have defunded public schools in America. It means that we need to create economic opportunities, access to capital for small businesses. In the midst of this coronavirus, which is still present, 90% of minority and women-owned businesses, small businesses, did not get access to the PPP. That's got to change. We need to recognize that if you invest in communities, they will be healthy, they will be strong, and we won't have a need for the militarization of police. Right? We have to stop that. We have to stop militarization of police. But that doesn't mean we get rid of police. Of course not. So does Joe but Biden we have, to have be the practical about this? Does Joe Biden have the formula right? Don't defund the police, but condition federal money on reforms in policing. Listen, Joe Biden believes that we need to reform the system, and I couldn't agree with him more. And do you have any hope right now of getting Republican support for your reforms? I do, actually, George. You know, when I look at these marches, people who seemingly have nothing in common are marching together shoulder to shoulder, speaking about what is our collective desire to achieve the ideals of our country, including equal justice under law. And I think you look at Mitt Romney, uh, who was the, the Republican nominee for president, and he was out there with the people saying the phrase Black Lives Matter. I feel very hopeful about this because this is just, it, it is literally, it should not be a partisan issue. This is about the fact that good policing is good for America, that racism hurts all Americans regardless of their race. Senator Harris, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.